interesting thing is, is as you, I'm sure you know as well, that on the, sec on the sec first trading day of this year, uh, on the 2nd of January, blindsided the market. Spare Bank, the Russian Spare Bank, came in out and digitized physical gold, put it on the blockchain, on the Stellar blockchain, trustless blockchain, and uh, with a view to, and, and we've just done an interview with Alistair McLeod, who, who, who also really adopt, thinks this is a, a correct, that they were going to use the only, the only currency that is able to price commodities for sale is gold. And you have to have it in, in, in small enough increments to be able to price commodities in gold. And I think, is this, is this something that is going to um, sideswipe the, or, or, or counter this effect that the, I mean, there were only 1.8 billion people. The, 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 the Shanghai Cooperative Organization is 3.8 billion people. I mean, and then there's Africa and there's, uh, do you think there may be some, some that it won't, they won't be able to impose this? Because you can't just impose it on some of the world. Right, yeah, the trade will change. Uh, I think it's, it's, it was very smart, very uh, forward thinking to put gold on the cha uh, on the blockchain to use as a uh, trade settlement item. Now, there will be those that argue, well, there's just not enough gold in the world to be able to settle global trade. Well, even if you had just one ounce, that one ounce is enough at a higher price, a much, much yes. higher price. But yes. my point being, gold is so undervalued right now yeah. when it, it does get to its fair value uh, un, uninhibited by paper contracts that are being sold, naked contracts, etc. Once you get to a much higher price, then yeah, sure, there will be, there is plenty of gold in the world just to settle global trade. So I, th I think that will be or is the one big argument, there's just not enough gold, but that's a bad argument. Uh, and yet we see every central bank, um, I mean, even in 2022, just what was reported, the 1130 odd tons, that is the largest f central bank gold purchase since, since Nixon shut the gold window. I mean, so things, there's some things are really radically changing here. And if the central banks, they have, they're, for the very reason you're just talking about, they're adopting gold and and re and, and literally hoarding gold for because they know something's coming down the pipe. And and I think you know we've got this conflict between the East and the West now, um, and obviously Russia, China, uh, BRICS plus, all dealing in all now happily dealing in uh, oil contracts in different currencies as well as uh, gold. This is. I'm, I'm just hoping, Bill, I'm, I may be wrong, but I'm just hoping that this, this World Economic Forum, there's an equivalent World Economic Forum in, in, uh, in the SEO, but they, they, they've got the opposite agenda, which is to empower people. So I'm just hoping that we're not all going to be sucked in to this vortex. Well, understand why central banks have been uh, hoarding gold, buying gold for their reserves. They understand, I mean, I'm sure every central banker in the world look at uh, Saudi Arabia saying that they would accept yuan for oil. They will accept other currencies for oil. That basically was an announcement of the end of Bretton Woods too, the petrodollar. Mm. That's mm. the end of it. Uh, so these central banks, they understand that the, the days of the dollar being the reserve currency are over. And I think the number now is uh, under 60% is the portion that dollars represent for uh, reserves in global central banks on their balance sheets. So these central banks... They're looking at it and saying, okay, we're at risk of major, major losses in our reserves. 
So what they're doing, and they, and they do understand that gold is going to be revalued much, much higher. So what they're doing is they're, they're front running, if you will. They're buying gold now for the revaluation because they understand that the dollar portion of their balance sheet is going to get hammered and leave huge losses on their balance sheet. So how do you counteract that? There's only really one way for them to counteract it. I mean, you can't do it with contracts because contracts can be broken. But gold cannot default. Gold cannot bankrupt. And when it's revalued higher, that will plug the huge black holes of default, if you will, whatever you want to call it, uh, on their balance sheet. So I, I think the central banks are they certainly are acting in their own best interest. Yeah, and it's interesting you mentioned, you know, we mentioned all these different um, uh, countries now um, dealing in other currencies than the dollar for oil. I mean, anyone that ever tried that before, Saddam Hussein, uh, Gaddafi, were killed. And But then you get, you're now dealing with nuclear superpowers. Probably Russia has probably got uh, better armaments than the US. It's uh, China, I'm sure, has too. I mean, that balloon that came over the other day, in 2018, they they filmed and tested a balloon with with uh, missiles with hypersonic missiles, which is something we don't have yet. Unbelievable. So, you know, it, it, something's going on here. So you wouldn't certainly you wouldn't be attacking, and um, NATO wouldn't be attacking um, um, really do Russia directly. There's a there has to be a point where this thing gets called out before everyone gets blown up. And I, th I think there's got to be a peace settlement at some point. What do you think? Well, uh, what's going on in Ukraine right now with NATO supplying arms to Ukraine, I mean, it's basically NATO against Russia, but it's a proxy war. Yeah. And we're, we're using Ukraine as a pawn. And really, if you read all the, the statements that Putin has made, and I've, I've urged people to do that, read his statements. They're, they all make common sense, um, and, and they're logical from a business standpoint. And I think one of the big problems that will come out when all this is said and done is we're going to find out just how corrupt and evil the, the, the workings were within Ukraine. I mean, one of the things you're going to find out, and it's, I mean, it's somewhat out there, but uh, just think about the, the uh, biological weapon labs that are in Ukraine. I think the number was something like 56 of them. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of that news or, or information is going to come out and we're going to find out just how, how dirty and evil it, it's been. And, and of course, there's, there's so many trails um, for the Biden family um, leading into Ukraine um, that have been suppressed, basically. I'm sorry, I got a dog here that's, that's growling. I got somebody outside my door. <laughs> <laughs> well, he's doing his job. Exactly. <laughs> well, is there someone that at the door that can open it? I'm actually, uh, I'm, I'm last day of a, a trip. I'm down at the beach and it's out in the hallway. They're, they've got a... Uh, uh, vacuum cleaner. So she's growling at it. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's. Uh, I sometimes feel like I want to growl at the vacuum cleaner. But, uh, but uh, Bill, the, the, this is this is so interesting. I'm, I'm. This is such a buzz here. Um, now, it, it every single bank that uh, we have talked spoken to um, is is of the opinion um, think that saying that they're betting that the Fed has triggered a commodity super cycle uh, with expectations of record commodity prices in 2023. I mean, this is aside from, from, from the other drivers we're talking about. And so that really tells us if, if that's the case, even, even forgetting all the fundamentals and, and, the, and the pragmatic stuff, gold and silver have to be grossly undervalued. And, but, but I think this is kind of leading me into something. Um, so as far as commodities are concerned, Silver, which has a commodity component, will outperform. Now, I remember in our last chat, you said something about silver 
being the fuse to to really ignite the system. Do you think is, is this something that that we should be thinking about? Well, yeah, it is the fuse uh, because it's such a small market. You couldn't have silver, you know, going flowing through a hundred dollars, two hundred dollars, and gold not moving. And gold is if you want to call it the anti-fiat, it's the antithesis to fiat currency. Um, I want to, uh, I guess, clarify, you mentioned you've talked to banks and they're talking about a commodity super cycle. Rather than calling it a commodity super cycle, I think the better way to call it is a fiat collapse. Ah, yes. Yes. Because, I mean, everything's priced in fiat and if if commodities are are exploding in fiat terms that means fiat is imploding in real terms yeah i mean it's the same as i guess you know I, you're absolutely right i mean for example someone tells me oh my house went up by 15 percent last year no no it took 15 percent more money to buy the same building. right the currency went down and one more thought on on silver hmm. the ratio now is it's back over uh, 80 to 1, the silver to yeah. gold ratio. Yeah. It comes out of the ground at 10 to 1. So man's ratio is 80 to 1. God's ratio is 10 to 1. Which one's right and which one's wrong? I mean, for hundreds of years, it was 16 to 1. And the reason being, even though it comes out of the ground at 10 to 1, they had to transport it. So whether they're transporting it by horse, uh, by carriage, by mule, what have you, Silver was discounted simply because you had to transport 10 times the amount to get the same value as gold. So instead of 10 to 1, man discounted it to 16 to 1, and that made sense. But 80 to 1 is absolutely absurd. And you and I have talked about this before. The reason they have sat on, on silver so hard is because they cannot allow silver to take off because if that were to happen, then you'll get excitement in gold. And no matter no matter what you want to say, gold is a thermometer versus uh, versus fiat currency. So if you've got gold rising, I mean, if we had five or ten thousand dollar gold, what, you know, what would the dollar be purchasing? It would expose it would expose.